Uh, hey, hi, hi everyone. Hope uh, everyone is doing good. Uh, welcome to ITV. Um, hope you are all doing well. Um, so in this video, I wanted to brief about Adobe Journey Optimizer. You might have heard uh, in recent times, uh, Adobe Experience Manager is actually being used for content management systems and Adobe Experience Platform is being used for capturing data and providing real-time user experiences on top of the websites, which is actually very much useful for large content delivery websites, uh, be it the e-commerce platforms or be it um, uh, any user experience driven websites, it's a very good uh, option because uh, um, they, they will actually, uh, a, a person who is actually trying to access uh, from India uh, at the same time uh, from a different locations will see different content of the website um, directly because of the um, profile segmentation which is provided by the Adobe Experience platform. So I just wanted to introduce Adobe Journey Optimizer in this video. And then I'll explain how Adobe Journey Optimizer is integrated with Adobe Experience Platform to make sure journeys can be created and then decision making can happen on the journeys. And what is the behind scenes uh, technology stack for Journey Optimizer and how we can get a hands on with Journey Optimizer. So all these details I'll cover in this video. Okay, as part of my previous promise that I'll be covering all the uh, latest technologies in Adobe stack, I'll be taking care of uh, each of one uh, uh, technology and then uh, give the introduction initially and then uh, uh, I will get a sandbox uh, coming days. I have already, uh, uh, we are actually, uh, our search software solutions is a uh, silver partner with uh, Adobe, we do have got sandbox. Um, so we actually log into the sandbox and I will showcase how these uh, experience platform, journey optimizer, Adobe guides, and then uh, work friend, all of that will work. Okay. So let's get into the details. <clears throat> so if you might have uh, seen my previous video, where in Adobe experience platform, I have uh, explained how it is actually a data capturing platform and then how different systems feed the data and how the data is segmented and profiled. And then uh, based on the profiling, it is actually used for the uh, entire implementation of the data. Okay. So if you can see my screen, uh, the entire Adobe experience uh, platform. Yeah. So the entire Adobe experience platform is divided into this stack. Okay. You can clearly understand. So content and commerce. Okay. These are the stacks which are uh, being used. Adobe Experience Manager, AEM, which is a website building tool, comes under content. Adobe Commerce, which is an e-commerce platform. Magento is the Adobe Commerce, which comes under commerce. So these two are independent tools, which Adobe acquired like five, six years back, AEM, two, three years back, Magento, integrated into one single uh, uh, platform, and that is called content and commerce. Once you have a website developed on the content and e-commerce functionalities are applied, how you can actually leverage the activities that are happening on the website, on the e-commerce site for the better usage of your, uh, um, I would say, business. Then that time comes the data insights and audience. So how you can capture the data and how you make sure the data will provide an insight and then how do you prepare your audience based on the users who are accessing these two platforms? And for that, Adobe has its own stack called Adobe Analytics, which captures the user clicks, user events, and then uh, all of the data will be fed into one um, uh, data center. Okay. Uh, basically, this is Adobe Experience Platform, which is at the bottom, is the one which is capturing the data. Okay. And then after the analytics uh, capturing the data, can you prepare a journey of the users so that uh, based on the analytics, they will follow the journey and they will get better experience. Okay. That tool is called Adobe customer journey analytics. Okay. And then Adobe has another real time customer data platform. Okay. So when someone is real time accessing the website from build on commerce and uh, um, experience manager, uh, analytics capturing the data, journey providing the paths to um, users, then you can real time feed into the customer data platform. And then that entire data along with Adobe audience manager, suppose different uh, users, um, campaign users, target users, everyone who is coming to the website, they will be profiled into, uh, yeah, they, they will be profiled into Adobe audience manager here. So 
data insights and audiences comes under these four stack okay then once you have prepared the website and you captured the data and um, made a, some kind of uh, analysis and created insights and then audiences what you will do next you will actually make sure it is provided to the entire customer to get better business value out of that and for that adobe has these tools in the customer journeys one is target it will target whatever you have actually captured through analytics from the content to a right person and then it will run campaigns if there are any offers and there are any discounts how to reach out to these users who are accessing these applications and those devices and all integrations adobe campaign will take and then comes adobe journey optimizer so what is adobe journey optimizer so when you have data in adobe experience platform and you wanted to have certain so consider workflows uh, like in any content management system workflows are there wherein multiple steps will be there like um, a participant step process step where the users take actions and then based on the actions the next step will be followed okay this the journey optimizer is kind of a sketchboard sketchboard for the business people so how they wanted to create few journeys for the people who are actually going through all of these uh, tools and then they will create a decision engine in the uh, sketchboard that these paths will go through this decisions and because of this decision they will get a different content so all of that will be part of adobe journey optimizer and then adobe marketo engage once you have actually uh, created a journey for the customer how do you make sure uh, marketing automation tools can help you to engage more with the customers that can be actually happen through adobe market to engage so these are the tools till customer journeys then comes the marketing workflow that is the adobe workflow so the latest entire technology stack of adobe is this okay you have content and commerce tools which are plain website or commerce providing applications you have data insights and audiences which are the category of tools which will capture the static analytics i mean uh, user actions and then feed the data and all and there is a real time customer data platform also where when the user is navigating the website capturing that data and then providing experiences also uh, i mean providing the insights also part of uh, uh, these tools and then once you have uh, websites and commerce tools and then data insight tools then you create a journey of how that uh, insights can be used for your business growth and th- what are those tools target campaign and after that you will just uh, batch process all the entire thing which can be done through marketing workflow this is the whole entire stack which is actually sitting on top of integrated closely with adobe experience platform which has user identities user profiles user segmentation data ingestion data query option artificial intelligence and machine learning integration and also it uses privacy and governance rules for different countries like europe all of that and then there is a destination how it can be sent to and then basically it is clarified as data sensei and content so these are the things which is the part of adobe experience cloud and when someone says that uh, hey uh, what is um, adobe experience platform uh, you can actually consider this as the uh, truth Uh, truth of the entire stack okay and now in this video we will go through the adobe journey optimizer what is journey optimizer so if you see this uh, screen the the place where adobe journey optimizer comes into the stack is in the orchestration layer okay so the entire flow can be considered as in uh, functional aspect uh, data orchestration content and engagement in data you will have third party rest apis uh, enterprise customer data analytics audience managers so all of them will feed the data into uh, adobe launch and then where we will have uh, adobe analytics and real time customer profile data pipeline all of them will be preparing the data from different sources and once you have the data and insights how you can actually orchestrate journey of the the customer profile Uh, as part of uh, moving from data insight towards content consumption for that user and as part of that there is a journey designer uh, ui uh, interface which will provide 
an option to plan the journeys which will use a journey service journey service is a platform where it can actually integrate with the data sources events actions uh, you know and based on that it can actually do a journey reporting who have gone through the uh, what journey and all of that and all of these journeys can consume content through out of the box integrations of adobe stack they have experience manager assets creative cloud assets uh, message designer assets all of them are out of the box integrated with this journey so that the consumption of the content can directly come to the orchestr orchestration layer once you have content ready analytic insights ready and then journey decided then it will go to engagement what is engagement you can send an email with a customer uh, with a real time information uh, in a, in app uh, customization okay and also mobile push you can do right and then uh, you can do a messaging service you can whatsapp message also is coming under message service and then there is third party rest apis sms aggregators mobile messaging all of them are there to do the engagement so basically what you are doing from a normal website commerce status to real time generating the data capturing creating insights and preparing a journey for each insight how it should navigate and consume the data from the adobe stack and then use that data and the journey and engage with the customer so it's it's a brilliant um, tech stack which adobe have uh, grouped together so that uh, um, any digital uh, um, brand would actually love to have this kind of setup in one single vendor um, that's the advantage of adobe and that's why adobe is actually in the gartner quadrant for the last uh, uh, 10 years in the leader quadrant okay and now i will bring you to the actual technologies which are being used actual tools which are being used so that you can understand what is happening so if you see here this is the actual technology stack which is happening okay adobe launch you know uh, there will be sdk and then uh, there will be data sources integration with the sdk and then there will be edge network which will actually get the data from sdk and uh, stream apis and then from the edge network there will be a streaming data collection api in the adobe experience platform in the adobe experience platform there is a pipeline okay that pipeline will take the data from the streaming data collection and then feed it to the real time customer profile uh, apis in real time customer profiles the profile object will gets continuously created and identity graph is continuously fed and segmentation of the profiles will be created okay and then if there are any enterprise sources we can actually use the batch data from the enterprise sources to push the batch data to the data lake so basically adobe experience platform will have what a customer profile which is continuously being updated through a pipeline and a lake of the data which is fed from the different process from the adobe launch and edge network and then from experience platform you can use journey optimizer to delivery you know journey events okay if someone actually um because one profile is actually clicking on one of the situation and uh, that event trigger can be captured in journey optimizer and for that event trigger how you want to schedule any condition action segment all of that are part of journey canvas okay journey canvas is an api which you can use to configure e events action service which i have shown in the previous uh, uh, video i mean uh, screen that there is a journey service right that journey service is the one which is having events action service which will take from the customer action and then creates a reports okay and then admin can actually access uh, data sources uh, and actions and events and messages can be part of channel and all and journey optimizer has integration with uh, enterprise sources also third party apis also so that they can actually check the um if if it is not from the website if they wanted to feed it from a different system also they can feed it to the journey optimizer so launch and everything comes from the actual um, live site and this is from an enterprise third party sites both of the data if you want to use for the conditions of the journey optimizer we can use that and then comes the decision engine where we have apis related to offer library placements decisions and decisions api after all the analytics insights and actions you wanted to do a payload okay what is the payload It means whom you are triggering and uh, as part of the previous screen i have showed right we will be engaging right as part of engaging whom you are engaging and what you are engaging okay in mobile i want to send a 50% offer so 
action message payload will go message here offer will will go to decision engine decision engine will do so basically this is the platform um stack when you say actually as a developer understanding and architect understanding this is what is happening in the journey optimizer experience platform launch and integrations okay and then if you want to consume any um, data for uh, sending these offers and uh, payloads like assets videos as part of sending emails that is part of content uh, experience manager cloud aem cloud where you can have forms screens sites asset assets essentials you they can consume the assets directly hooked to the journey optimizer and can can get the asset and then deliver it okay in asset essential you have uh, both uh, links images videos docs it's like um, content content stories so that that's what i was actually talking about the best uh, technologies which have come on top of uh, the existing uh, websites uh, uh, for enterprise applications so journey optimizer is one of them and then i wanted to cover journey optimizer introduction here and once i get the sandbox of so the configurations of experience platform to journey optimizer i'll cover it up and then um, um, in next video i'll take uh, adobe guides or adobe workfront and then i'll give you brief about uh, that tool as well so thank you everyone thanks for watching uh, um adobe journey optimizer introduction video uh, i'll be doing a uh, um, few few more videos on this uh, tech stack which is actually evolving on the adobe experience platform so thank you everyone um, please like share subscribe and uh, do encourage us and uh, do let us know about your uh, thoughts on uh, the video so that uh, it will help us to improve uh, in case something is missing or anything needs to be covered or uh, any other um, aspects of the content uh, that can be shared I uh, will do that definitely. Um, thank you everyone.